Kamala Ingrid, and today I'm going to show you how to release your neck, upper back, and your traps. So basically, I am going to be, give you a couple of stretches that can also help you release the trigger points without therapists and in the comfort of your home. And one of the things I'm going to show you some stretches. One of them is going to be the shoulder, basically the shoulder press I like. And these are the poses and things that I like to use with myself. It helps me alleviate any tension, tightness, soreness that I may be having, and for my clients. Our next one is our chin tuck. And these are great for whenever you're working too long on the computer and you tend to hunch a little bit too far or you're on those phones. A lot of people are on social media nowadays and it's like way too much going on on the neck, a lot of pressure, so you wanna release it. And here is one of the ways I like to release So make sure you allow yourself to sit up straight, take your finger, and then reset by pushing back. Do a few chin tucks just to reset the neck. And another one that I like to do is the snow angels. I prefer doing them on the floor, but for those that are also very, um, don't have the, let's say you're not in a proper place that you want to put yourself on the floor if you're in a grimy gym or something like that, go ahead and use the wall. But for the best uh, motion, just use the floor if you can, if you're in a home or you have a mat, and these are the ways you can actually um, approach this. With the snow angels, keep the shoulders, elbows, and wrists touching the floor the entire time. This next one, as you can see, I had to pick up my hair because this one is my favorite one. These are my active release therapy bowls, which you guys can also get a hold on through my link on my bio. So they're my active release therapy bowls that I have actually created three different sizes. This one happens to be the set that is medium. It's very much universal, can be worked on every area of your body. However, I suggest you to start with this one if you're going to work with the traps. You can work with the larger ones, which tend to be more for the bigger muscles, but in this case, since we're working the neck and we're working their uh, upper back and also the traps, let's stick with these for now. The purple ones tend to go a little deeper, so if you have a lot of pain or your trigger point is very tight, that muscle is bundled up a lot, then I suggest you to start with this and then work your way down to the purple one. However, let's just keep it simple. We work with these, and I like to use this to release my upper back balls are the best way to actually you know undo a lot of tension so sometimes I like foam rolling but sometimes the foam roller cannot get right into that into that spot I need so let's go ahead and let's work on the neck and then work our way down into the levator which you'll also feel a lot of tension if you are I, as I said working for long periods of hours and you're rounding or you're in this position for so long for those that are dentists or people that work on others you know that those muscles can get tiring so this is a good way of releasing them let me show you a little bit routine that i tend to do and we're going to keep it very simple easy to use okay for more information on how to obtain one of these sets go to my website or also visit my link tree on my bio and go under active release therapy ball or contact me if you want any particular set as well. Just roll a few times, release your back, and then take one ball out, as you see here, and I'm going to place it right along the scapula. Take that arm, extend it, and as you see, I am creating a range of motion. You can just press comfortably here and sit as you lift the pelvis up to add more pressure. You can cross the arm over or around in a circular formation and reversing it. So just feel the ball around that area to release any triggers that you may be having. This is more effective on everybody that I have worked on other than myself and at the same time help you release that tension and tightness. And as you see here, me rolling up and down, a little more advanced, but you will get used to it. And again, these balls are invasive and amazing to work with. So go ahead and work freely with them, or if you just want to sit and relax and adding pressure, that as well helps. Now take a block, 
to elevate your neck a little bit and with the same ball you can go ahead and allow yourself to rotate back and forth the neck to release that tightness and reset the neck and now one of my favorite ones is the cat cow which we do in yoga and that actually helps release a lot of the tension that we carry on our backs and upper back and neck as well so here we go if you're going to position yourself on all fours hands and knees are no wider than your shoulders your hands and your knees are no wider than your hips so let's go ahead and tailbone up to the ceiling head up and on the exhalation we round again breathing in exhale one more time and exhale you can do it active or you can just relax and relax in this position or with your hands right by your hips take a couple breaths to release everything you've already done and that's about it so stay tuned to my next bigger uh, trigger point release video and if you have any questions or you wish to reach out because you have certain triggers that you need to release and you would like to know how to go ahead and do so just go ahead and send me a dm and i'll be happy to answer mm -hmm.